Hello friends, welcome to G-Centric. So in this lecture, we will solve the concept based on equivalent circuit with respect to sources. So now also we will apply only the concept till now whatever we have learned in the previous lectures in this problems. Okay. So now they have asked us to find I1, I2 and V. So here is I1, here is I2 and here is V. Now in the circuit, there are two, two sources connected in uh, series that is the voltage sources are connected in series. So I can take the equivalent of that. Now the polarities are same plus minus plus minus. Okay. So we can add them up. It will become plus minus 8 plus 8 is 16 volts. Okay. So this circuit reduces to here it is current source of 2 ampere and they have asked us to calculate the voltage across this current source. It is given as 2 ohms and here also 2 ohms. Okay, and here is I2, this is I1. Okay. Now in parallel the voltage will be same if there is no element present here. So here it is 16 volt same voltage appears here also it will be 16 volt and here also it is 16 volts okay so now we can find i2 we know the voltage we know the uh, resistor and in the same branch same amount of current will flow so i2 is nothing but 16 upon 2 that is 8 amperes okay so here 8 amperes of current flows in the branch so now from here 2 ampere current is coming so we can find current I1 applying KCL here I1 and 2 are incoming current so I1 plus 2 is equal to 8 amperes I is equal to 6 amperes ok. So now to find this V we can apply KVL in this loop or in this loop so we will apply here KVL in this way so what do we get? this is plus 16. So before that we need we have to know the voltage drop across this one. This will be negative terminal and this will be positive terminal. Okay, Current will enter in the positive terminal of the passive element. So 2 into 2 is 4 volt drop. Okay, So this is plus 16 then again plus 4 volts then minus V is equal to 0. So V is equal to 20 volts. Okay. So, in this case the polarities were same so then we added up the sources. So, 8 plus 8 will become 16. Next coming to the second question they have asked us to find I1 and I2. So, here is I1 and here is I2. Now again in parallel here also 8 volt appears here also 8 volt and here also 8 volt voltage appears. So, this is 8 volts here also it is 8 volts here also it is 8 volts. Now again we can find I2 easily. It is nothing but I2 is equal to 8 upon 2, 4 amperes. Okay. So we need again what we need to find? We need to find I1. So before that, now if you observe this both the potential are same. So we can consider them as one node. But we have to know even the current in this branch. We know voltage, we know resistor. So the current is it will enter in this way that is because positive terminal of the passive element 8 by 4 is 2 amperes ok. So now if I draw the node here let me call this node as A. So I1 is entering in this direction 2 ampere is leaving the node 2 ampere is entering the node ok and 4 ampere that is I2 is leaving the node. Now I1 plus 2 entering the node equal to leaving the node. So I1 will be 4 amperes. Okay, so both the values are I1 and I2. Okay, in this way we can find the values of I1 and I2. Next we will see. Now here also there is one more concept. We have seen that if there is any parallel resistor connected across the ideal voltage source then it can be neglected. Now let us uh, uh, see this also by neglecting the resistor. Now what when the resistor is neglected we can redraw the circuit as 
plus minus 8 volts and 2 amperes ok and here it is again 2 ampere sorry 2 ohm resistor ok the here is I2 2 ampere and they have asked us to calculate I1 and I2 ok now this is 8 volt 8 volt 8 volt so here the current is 4 amperes what is have 4 amperes is this is 2 amperes and they have asked us to calculate the I1 so I1 plus 2 is equal to 4 I1 is equal to 2 amperes. Now, if you see this I1 and this I1, they are, we are getting two different values. So, we cannot neglect the R in this problem. That is because here the current I1 is flowing and it is getting divided in the branches. Okay? If this was not given, then this would be the correct method to follow. But now this I1 is getting divided in both the branches. So, we cannot neglect the resistor R. Okay. So, for advice is that do not apply this concept. So, we will solve it normally whatever we have learned. Okay. If something it's, if it is not divided or if some response is not asked then we could have neglected the resistor. Okay. Uh, suppose now if they, uh, they, if they have not asked us to find I1 then we can directly uh, neglect the resistor and find the I2. So, we will get I2 value same. Okay, here also it is 4 ampere and there is also 4 amperes. Okay, we will see few more problems. Okay, we will see some more problems based on the concept. Okay, so they have again asked us to find I1, I2 and V. Okay, so now this is the same similar problem as first problem but the difference is the polarities are different. Okay, so now when you go in this way, you will get plus 8 minus 8 volt. So, there will be no voltage. So, when there is no voltage, then it acts as a short circuit. So, we will redraw this. Here it is 2 ohm, then 2 ampere current is flowing. Okay, so this is 2 ohms. Then they have asked us to calculate the value of V. and here it is 2 ohm and the value of I2 and the value of I1. Okay. So, now coming to this one, if you assume this has grounded, okay. now the here it is 0 volt and it is a short circuit path. So, here also it is a 0 volt. So, whatever voltage is here, same appears also here that is again 0 volt. Okay. So, when it is 0 volt, here also it is 0 volt they are all are in parallel. So, when it is 0 volt, so what will be the current? V by R 0 upon 2 to 0 ampere. Okay? So, it is 0 ampere current is flowing through this circuit. Now, whatever the current that is coming here, so it does it flow in this path? No, because current always chooses the least resistive path. So, here there is, which is the least resistive path? It is nothing but this one short circuit there is no resistance in this branch so how much ever current flows in this branch will not go here it will go in this direction okay so this is two method one you can solve it using the formula the other one logically you can solve it so the value of i1 is now this is opposite direction this is plus 2 is here but they have asked in this direction so it will be minus 2 amperes okay so, this is a question number 3. Now, coming to the question number 4, they have asked us to find the value of I over here. So, it is uh, when the two sources, current source as well as the voltage source are given, which will, which will be the dominant one, we have already seen it that current always, current source rules the voltage source. So, current source is the dominant one. So, here also it is 25 by 7. Now, here it is 4 by 7. It is they have asked in this direction. So, I applying KCL at node A, okay, we will get I plus 4 by 7 is equal to 25.7. So, I is equal to 25 minus 4 is 21 upon 7, that is 3 amperes. Okay. Let us move on to the next question. Fifth question, they have asked in a given circuit, if I2 is equal to I2 is equal to 2 amperes when R is equal to 20 ohm. Find I2 when R is equal to 
1 ohm. So we need to find, the, sorry this they have given 1 ohm, we need to find what is the value of current I2 when R changes from 20 ohm to 1 ohm. Now the current is, current in this branch is 3 amperes. So it, this will be positive and this is negative. So in a series in this branch, in this series branch, so whatever how much current, if the current source is 3 ampere that much amount of current flows in that total branch, okay. So does, uh, does it affect any of the resistor value if it changes, no. So if the whatever the value of resistance it might be either 20 ohm, 1 ohm, 12 ohm, so the current remains same in this branch that is 3 ohm, 3 ampere is, uh, amperes of current. Okay. Now, if you apply KVL, KCL here at node A and let us take this as plus and minus, okay. so one, this is 3 ampere, we do not know this current, let us take it as I, we know that current which is leaving I2, okay. that is given as 2 amperes, so I will become 3 minus, sorry 2 minus 3, that is minus 1 ampere. Okay. Now, if you see that if the current if the resistor value is changed from 20 to 1 ohm is it affecting any of the branches no because it is not dependent on the current i2 or this 10 ohm resistance or this 20 ohm resistance so ideal source is given as 3 ampere that means in this branch the current will flow 3 ampere and it will remain same so there won't be any change in the value of this I2 also because neither this is changing nor the current in this branch is changing. So, I2 will be equal to 2 amperes only. Okay. So, this completes the second uh, part of the basic solving techniques that is equivalent circuit with respect to sources. So, in the next lecture we will see equivalent circuits respect with respect to resistors, inductors and capacitance. Okay. Thank you.